So I am really excited to share with you an idea that I, I almost dreamt about. I was in the shower and I thought about this idea and it gives you a little bit of an insight into how an accountant's mind works, even though I'm a general manager now, when I think about things. And this is about relationships. Of course, I think about it in numbers and graphs. <laughs> <laughs> so um, my idea that I wanted to share with you was, um, what if the hokey pokey, another dance, is what it's all about? And it's a little bit of a love story, but I really think that you can apply it to a number of things in your life. Um, so I work at, at Lululemon, and a big part of what we do is working in vision and goal setting. It's not just about yoga, it's not just about running, it's not just about a retail company. We do a lot of goal setting. And for me, the last four years has been an awakening and a journey of self-discovery. And um, it's not just been a journey that I've been on. My whole family and my husband have been on that too. So I um, backtracked before Lululemon um, and before my current marriage. I um, have a dead cow in my past. <laughs> I, I was divorced about eight years ago and um, had two children from my first marriage. And I met Steve. And um, we got married. We fell deeply in love and got married. and. Were, went through the process of integrating a family of five children from, they are now nine to 19. Um, and it wasn't an easy journey. Um, it was um, a lot of ups and downs in the road, a lot of um, exhaustion and frustration. And, um, you know, there were, there were moments of fun. And, and I'm, I'm really pleased to say that now, um, after it's been eight years, it's, it's so, so much better. And it's, it's, it's such pure joy and fun. Um, and that's really where this concept came about. I just started to, to think about why and where, where we were at. And um, for Steve and I, the last, it's been the last four years really, we've been on this journey together of lo looking, looking at ourselves and learning through books that we've read, um, five love languages, through courses that we've done, really about learning how to communicate um, together that we have um, discovered this, um, process, this path. And I woke up one day and I really was just so present to how much fun we were having. How much fun we were having in our life and it hasn't always been that way. And my husband, this is where the hope poke come in, he actually taught me about this although he didn't know it. He said to me a long time ago that I wasn't in the relationship. So when you think about the hokey pokey and you've got you know, one hand in and one hand out. Well, that's what I was doing in my second marriage. I was not really committed. I wasn't all in. I was only in when it suited me and when it didn't suit me, I, I was out. I had one foot outside the circle ready to run at, at any time when it wasn't going my way. And he taught me this concept. And so over the period of the last four years where we've been doing all the self-development work, it's, it's been a gradual process where we have probably subconsciously, but for me anyway, um, made that choice to be committed and jump in with both feet. Um, so that's where this idea came from. I woke up one morning realized, realizing how happy we were but having a number of relationships around us um, where people were struggling and struggling with big things, um, where to live, um, countries, where to live in different, different countries. And that was actually coming in the way of their relationship. Um, jobs, people not having enough money, and that was stopping their relationship. And, and it just made me stop and think and wonder how we actually got to the place where we got to. It didn't just magically happen. It occurred over a period of time. Um, and this is where the graph comes in. This idea popped into my head and I realized over this period of time that we had actually been formulating the success of our marriage and our relationship. But for me, it's a bigger concept of self-determination that you can actually apply to anything. And so I just wanted to share it with you today. And it assumes an environment, can you, I don't know if you'll be able to see this all the way down the back. So this is the environment that we're now living in and when I started at Lululemon, vision and goals really become, became clear to me that it was very important. So we, the vision I have for my, my life and my marriage with five children is that we have such a committed 
relationship and that we are communicating parents that are raising five children that can be anything in the world. And I am so connected and committed to that vision that it really inspires me along my way in, in my life. So that's one aspect of the environment, of the background of this graph that I, I came up with. The second thing that I realized was integrity. To live a life with integrity as you're going about having a life with vision and goals. So if you, for example, want to run a marathon, you have a vision of, of running this marathon in under three hours, um, if you don't get up and train for it and do what you say you're going to do, you're not going to be able to complete that marathon. So that brings into the, to, into the third concept, which is personal responsibility. So for me, if I've got this vision of my life, where I am a connected, committed partner in my marriage and I don't have integrity with it and I'm not taking responsibility for it when I'm not being in communication and I'm not being loving or generous, then I'm not going to have what I want. So this is all really important. The other thing as well is choice. Quite often, well, all of us will go to first responding to how we speak from the past and in a relationship and in, in, in life really powerfully choosing how you want to respond and what you want to do and say is actually going to help you towards what you actually want to create. So that's the background of this graph. So the vertical axis for me that I saw, I'm probably not spelling, I think in numbers not letters, <laughs> was commitment. So the more committed I am to my marriage and to my relationship in this environment of vision, integrity, personal responsibility and choice, I just saw so clearly that the more I am committed to this, the more I will experience success and happiness. And it's an exponential graph. And anything that you have in your life that you actually want, and it, it can be separate to relationships. So you want to run that half marathon, the more committed to, you are, to it you are, and the more you're so clear around your vision and your goals. And what that is, the, the, with real clarity and real purpose that you can see and taste it and really want it, the more you live with integrity and personal responsibility and step into choosing that that's what you want every day, where you have to get up and run and do the training, whether it's raining or whether it's freezing cold. The more you have the commitment to that vision, the more you will experience the success and happiness that you're actually looking for. So to finish off, I'd love you to close your eyes again. <laughs> and I want you to choose an area of your life where you may not be all in, where you may be one foot inside and outside the circle. And it could be a relationship, it could be your job, your career, it could be your health, or it could be your goal. So what I'd like to do is have you imagine now jumping in to, into the circle, in, into the hokey pokey with both feet, with absolute commitment, with no fear, with complete 100% integrity and personal responsibility and imagine creating a life that you love living. Imagine what's possible. And that's what the Hokey Pokey is all about. Thank you.